Pune is so special in the area around Yellowknife just because you have world-class wilderness literally right out the back door. And if you're going to look at this wilderness from the air, you're going to see that most of it is actually water. It's lakes, it's rivers. So in order to get into that area and experience that area, the best way is by canoe. So say you come to the city of Yellowknife and you've never canoed before, never been in a canoe, it's absolutely no problem to uh, get out there. Um, there are dozens of uh, outfitters, they can rent you a canoe, uh, you can hire a guide, you can go for an hour, you can go for a day, you can go for a weekend. Um, so the possibilities are, are limitless as far as uh, a first timer getting into the uh, Yellowknife canoeing experience. If you're already a decent paddler and you want to get out there a little bit more around Yellowknife, I would suggest the Upper Snowdrift River. Um, beautiful crystal clear river meandering through the Boreal Forest. Amazing grayling fishing, spectacular wildlife, uh, even a few light rapids thrown in there for excitement. So something you can definitely uh, take home to talk about. In the story I wrote for Up Magazine, I mentioned that we paddled uh, through the largest wilderness area in North America. And this area stretches uh, from just outside of Yellowknife for about a thousand kilometers north and east. And it's just this massive expanse of roadless wilderness. Uh, if you look at it on a map, it's just this big blank space. Uh, there's no roads, there's no towns, it's just a wilderness um, as it has been for thousands of years. So when I looked at this, I just found it irresistible to get into that wilderness and experience it firsthand, see what it looks like, smell it, taste it, um, and just kind of uh, really immerse myself in, uh, in such a unique region. After completing this 46 day trip, it really made me realize uh, how lucky we are as Canadians to have uh, these uh, remote wilderness areas to uh, explore and experience. With uh, wild areas in the world becoming uh, more and more scarce, um, I think these areas are more and more valuable to keep in their natural state for uh, current and for future generations to uh, enjoy and to explore.